Well, Ian, uh, anniversary two years ago, Leicester City, against all the odds, uh, winning the Premier League title. And it seems to have gone quite quick that two years, hasn't it? Yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, uh, so, so many memorable highlights that particular season. I think we got to Christmas and we were, you know, top or thereabouts. Then when we lost at Arsenal away, sort of ran, ran out of Valentine's Day. Had a couple of weeks after that, and then they played Norwich at home, had to win that game. But every week, everyone else was wondering, is this the week they're going to blow up? Is this the week? And they never did, and just kept winning, John, didn't they? And uh, that's always a good, that's, that's always a good, uh, a good habit to get into. And Claudio Ranieri kind of kept it cool, kept talking about 40 points the whole time, pretty much. Yeah, it? and we got to 40 points just immediately prior to Christmas, didn't we? That yeah. was incredible. And it wasn't till mid-April, as I remember, in one of his press conferences, that he actually admitted, I'll be going for the title now, didn't he? Do you remember that, 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 that famous press conference? But he, he kept the players' feet on the ground all that time. I remember a Wednesday night win away at Tottenham with a Robert Hooth header from a, from a corner. You know, that was uh, and about a minute prior to that, Harry Kane had hit the bar and it looked easier to score. So it, it's just a whole collection of circumstances that all fell into place around about that time. But they just kept winning. Obviously, the Man City game, which was early February as I recall yeah, that the away was the game was amazing wasn't it yeah 3 nil up and Huth was on a hat trick wasn't he yeah. and uh, <laughs> it, it was just incredible Riyad Mahrez and Kante were inspired that particular day and they had a 3-2 win at West Bromwich and, they, and, and the, the away game at Crystal Palace I know it's a fairly scrappy game Riyad Mahrez scored in that game but um, keeping the fans behind for 20 minutes even talking about it now sends tingles down my spine. Yeah, the, si incredible. the singing and the support was, was amazing. And of course, yeah. a, a great season for Mr Vardy as well. Yeah, Jamie's been incredible. I noticed at the awards night the other night, uh, John, that he's, this is his sixth season here and he's never won the, the Player of the Year award. Now, you could easily make a case for him for four of those six seasons, couldn't you? I actually think he's finished second in the last four seasons. <laughs> There's always been somebody come along like a, 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 a Riyad or a Harry Maguire but um, he's been amazingly consistent and that was the, the season that he really got some national prominence with those 11 goals in 11, 11 successive goals. He scored two in a couple of them, didn't he? So um, he's, he's, uh, he's amazing and he's, at the minute he's our talisman, isn't he? I remember I was working the night that uh, you know, Tottenham were, were held to that draw yeah. um, and everybody got congregated down at the stadium and yeah. the celebrations just went on for hours and hours and hours, didn't they? Yes, I remember watching it. I was in my kitchen with my son and my wife didn't get it. She, she doesn't get it, John. 35 years I've tried to make her get it. She doesn't get it at well, all. At least mine does. <laughs> she says, um, what, are you getting excited? Leicester are not even playing. I said, oh, yeah, blah, I mean, it's too difficult to explain. But I was, I was in my kitchen watching the game. And, um, you know, afterwards, my son, I got a famous picture on my phone. My son, you know, he's in his early 30s now. He was had a little tear in his eye. And uh, that was just incredible. But it, it wasn't Chelsea handing us the title. The title was won by us over 38 yeah. games. We only lost three of those 38 games. We won in the title in the end by 11 points. I think it's reasonable to suggest that one or two of the top, top teams you know, had transitional seasons. I think that's fair to suggest that. But um, you know, we, we won the, the league, as any team wins the league, by being consistent over 38 yeah, that's games. Right. That was just incredible. I'm not sure we'll see it again in our lifetime, John, to be fair. No, and uh, it was fun for Mr Lineker at the beginning of the following season. We came in shorts, didn't he? But yeah. uh, we also saw a video of him celebrating at home. Didn't yeah, we? so obviously once a Leicester player, a Leicester boy, isn't he? And the great image of him sat in his lounge watching the game on a, what looked like a huge screen, wasn't it? But I think those memories, I think I remember the, the Everton game, John. I went down to town about 10 o'clock that morning, Saturday morning. It was a wonderful, wonderful place to be. You know, I think I had a, a waffle and a pancake and some ice cream, which I don't normally do, despite my shape. Um, and that, it was, you know, the, the Bocelli and everyone was so, so, even the Italians who arrived to celebrate Ranieri's, um, you know, they came down Welford Road, didn't they, all, as, as, as a group. And that singing was amazing. Yeah, uh, John, I, I've got it on my phone. I captured the minute where Wes you know, broke the sky with, yeah. with the trophy. Um, I haven't been able to delete it yet. I don't suppose I ever will. Um, off my phone. Yes, I, but would, I would definitely keep it. Yeah, it was just an incredible time. Um, you know, I think, but one thing it has done, John, it's, it's raised people's expectations of what can be achieved. And I still think we're suffering a little bit from that right now. But um, hey ho, but I, I wouldn't swap that. It, you know, for all the Leicester fans like you, John, and like myself, who've been around the club for decades and been a supporter, who went to Hereford and Gillingham and Colchester on, in, yeah, the league, in, in the league, in the league one season. Yeah, I did that season. I, yeah. Bizarrely, I quite enjoyed that going to some nice places. I yeah, remember the Cheltenham yeah. game, August Bank Holiday, four 0 Matt Oakley, all those. But for those of us who stuck through the club in those days, that was um, a reward. I think the Everton game was a reward for us, the season ticket holders, and I think the party at um, 
uh, Victoria Park was was a reward for the city, wasn't it? When yeah. what looked yeah. like all the city turned up. Yeah, that was brilliant. The procession. I remember I was in town actually and uh, watched it through there, and saw yeah. the rest of it on screen. But it, you know, great memories, and you kind of hope it'll happen again. But. Yeah, one one of those things. You know, I watched it, John. I think I went to 30 plus of the 38 games that season. Um, obviously, early days when we beat Sunderland and beat West Ham, we thought, oh, hang on, we might not struggle too much this season. And then the expectations changed. You got to Christmas, the loss at Arsenal. In the last minute, I thought, oh, blimey, is this, is this going to happen? They celebrated like they won the Champions League, didn't they, to be fair? But then we got back on the bus quite quickly. Um, those are never going to leave us, John. And um, it, it's, it's just one of those things. I was there, I watched it, it happened in front of us. But I'm still not completely sure I believe what happened. It's just incredible, John, wasn't it? One of the best stories in team sport the world's ever seen. And I was just finally going to mention the world, because I think all the world's journalists congregated in Leicester, it was yeah. called quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. it certainly got Leicester, and they got the proper smelling out there, didn't it? And it certainly added the profile for the city all around the world. So we're not only famous for a dead king and for your spell at Radio Leicester, John, we are famous now for a, 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 you know, a premiership winning football team.